Hello, it's Angie with Angie's Place. I hope you're having a good day today. Um, I realized that we skipped chapter 23 in Proverbs, so we're going to read 23 and then we're going to skip ahead to 26. And you can catch 24 and 25 on the, not the next one, but the one after, um, before. Anyway, before we begin on our reading, if you'll do me a favor and hit the like and then subscribe down below, it will help me out tremendously and help get this these videos out to those who cannot um, read the Bible because they're not allowed to have one, or even to those who are having to commute and just need something to listen to. Anyway, here we begin on chapter 23. When you sit down to eat with a ruler, consider carefully what is before you and put a knife to your throat if you are given an appetite, a man given to appetite. Do not desire his delicacies, for they are deceptive food. Do not overwork to be rich, because of your own understanding cease. Will you set your eyes on which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away like an eagle toward heaven. Do not eat the bread of a miser, nor desire his delicacies. For he, as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. The morsel you have eaten, you will vomit up and waste your pleasant words. Do not speak in the hearing of a fool, for he will despise despise the wisdom of your words. Do not remove the ancient landmark, nor enter the fields of the fatherless, for the Redeemer is mighty, and he will plead their cause against you. Apply your heart to instruction, and your ears to the words of knowledge. Do not withhold correction from a child, for if you beat him with a rod, he will not die, and you shall beat him with a rod, and deliver his soul from hell. My son, if your heart is wise, my heart will rejoice. Indeed, I myself, yes, my most being will rejoice when your lips speak the right things. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but be zealous of, for those that fear the Lord all the day. For surely there is a hereafter, and your hope will not be cut off. Hear, my son, and be wise, and guide your heart in the way. Do not mix with wine bibblers or the gluttonous eaters of meat, for the drunkard and the glutton will come to poverty, and drowsiness will clothe a man with rags. Listen to your father who begot you, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth and do not sell it, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous will greatly rejoice. And he who begets a wise child will delight in him. Let your father and your mother be glad, and let her who bore you rejoice. My son, give me your heart, and let your eyes observe my ways. For a harlot is a deep pit, and a seductress is a never well. She also lies in wait for it as for a victim, and increases unfaithful among men. Who has woe, who has sorrow, who has contentions, who has complaints, who has wounds without cause, and who has redness of eyes, those who linger long at the wine, those who go in search of mixed wine. Do not look at the wine, do not look on the wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it swirls around smoothly, at last it bites like a serpent and stings like a viper. Your eyes will see strange things, and your heart will utter perverse things. Yes, you will be like the one who lies down in the midst of the sea, or like the one who lies at the top of the mast, saying, They have struck me, but I was not hurt. They have beaten me, but I did not feel it. When shall I awake, that I may seek another drink? In other words, if you drink, you're going to continue to want to drink. Okay, now we're going to skip ahead to 26. I know this is weird today. I'm very sorry. Um, but because of how Proverbs is, it's not, you're not really missing anything. What you're missing is obviously wisdom. 
that comes from 25 and 20, um, 24 and 25, but like I said, that one's on a different um, segment. So if you'll catch that down below, and I'll let you know a few others that you can catch also, if you're interested. Now 26, as snow in summer and rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a flitter of a sparrow, like the flying swallow, so a curse without cause will not alight. A whip for a horse, a bridle for a donkey, a rod for a fool's back. Do not answer the fool according to his folly, lest you be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Like the legs of a lamb that hang limp is the proverb in the mouth of a fool's. Like one who binds a stone in a sling is he who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that goes into the hand of a drunkard, the great God who formed everything gives the fool his, his hire and the transgressor his wages. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. The lazy man, there is a lion in his road, a fierce lion in the streets. As the door turns on its hinges, so does the lazy man on his bed. The lazy man buries his hand in the bowl. It worries, it worries him to bring it back to his mouth. The lazy man is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. He who passes by and meddles in a quarrel is not his own, is like one who takes a dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death, is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Where there is no wood, the fire goes out. And where there is no tail bearer, the strife ceases. As a charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is the contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a tail bearer are like a tasty trifles, and they go down into the innermost body. Fervent lips with a wicked heart are the earthenware covered with silver dress. He who hates disguises it with lips and lays up deceit within himself. When the speak kindly, when we when he speaks kindly, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it and he who rolls the stone will have it roll back on him. A lying tongue hates those who are crushed by it, and a flattering mouth works ruin. Okay, that was the end of those two. I hope you do join me for the next two. Just to let you know, there's also one on Revelations, the end times. There's also one on Women of the Bible. I've only got two of those out now, but you can watch those if you are interested. Anyway, I hope you have a blessed day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!